Hello YouTube. This is a short video about an experience I've just had with some alkaline batteries from Family Dollar. And they come on this big flat tray, 36 batteries. And I don't think you can see this on the battery, but the shelf life it says expires in 2021. So I've been using a lot of store brand alkaline batteries over the years and I've never had this particular problem happen. But I had these batteries in this 2 meter handheld, ICOM T2H, and they were very weak and it was just sitting there receiving. It couldn't transmit, it would just receive only because the batteries were so low and I forgot to shut it off. And I left it on went to work and in the meantime my wife heard some popping noises and thought it was an electrical problem and unplugged everything around my desk well it turned out that these family dollar alkaline batteries exploded in this radio they blew up and leaked all over so I've used some batteries from Tractor Supply, the JobSmart brand, I've used CVS's batteries. I've never had this happen before. So it did make kind of a mess. The lucky thing is, is alkaline batteries are not nearly as corrosive as what the old uh, so-called heavy-duty uh, carbon zinc batteries are. Those batteries will damage your stuff. But this will clean up and uh, I'll get it all out of there, clean it all up, it'll be fine. But uh, it's just something I was going to put out there for uh, people to be aware of. And it's kind of a, get up here close to it, a yucky mess. So these are uh, something I may reconsider about uh, my choices of these batteries. Uh, years ago, I read an article in Consumer Reports that said, uh, you know, most alkalines were the same, buy whatever's cheap. But that may have been back at a time when all the batteries were made in Japan and the USA and all that. Okay, here it is. I washed it all out with soap and water. Used a, a toothbrush and uh, soap and water. Cleaned it all out good and uh, looks great and it will live to fight another day see you later